Good evening. Today, today I have something very, very special for you. Now, as some of you may uh, know, I often spend uh, a great deal of time on auction sites such as eBay, in New Zealand we have Trade Me, uh, and various uh, places like that to see whether I can find anything unusual to add to my collection. And today I am very happy to show you something very special that I received. But before I show you the instrument, and this little part here is not part of it, I shall read for you the uh, description. The item is called Military Chinese Army Brass Blowing Bugle Attack War Command Signal Horn. And it has the description that includes such memorable words as this. The distressed look is great for scouting jamboree, military reinstatement, and it is an affordable way for a student to learn how to manipulate the mouthpiece. It wasn't a particularly expensive purchase, but what I expected was something like this bugle here, which I have demonstrated under the heading Useless and Stupid. What I received was not something like this bugle here, it was instead this. A tiny little piece of what might be brass and copper. A couple of unique points to note about this. Number one, it wasn't what I expected. I frankly should have read the description where it detailed the size as being six inches. Not being accustomed particularly with inches, I didn't really give that any credence. But, you know, it's tiny. My hand span is substantially more than six inches and it's just ridiculous. However, it is not even a proper bugle. You unscrew the mouthpiece. Why it has a screw thread on it, I have no idea. It adds significantly to the complexity, but this isn't actually a mouthpiece. If you tap it very gently, a reed comes out. Now this is a reed similar to what you would find actually in organ pipes. It has a shallot with a small curved tongue of metal there, which is you're not going to be able to pick it up on, but I'll uh, add a photo here. And that resonates, uh, sorry, that vibrates in such a way that a sound resonates through the tiny little section that is this instrument. Let me re-screw on the mouthpiece um, and give you the only sound that this instrument can make. I'm warning you now, it is very loud. That is the only pitch this instrument can make using the reed that's inside it. You can uh, blow a little bit harder, a little bit softer, and it'll sort of detune and, and, and go a little bit sharp. Um, but uh, that's it. Now, if you were to remove this reed stupid thing, you get this. Which has zero, zero musical value. Perhaps this is a sign that I should read options a little bit more carefully. Um, and hopefully I won't end up with another little one of these. Thanks for watching.